What's up everyone, in this video I'm going to be reviewing the American Premium 7.0 Heavy Tank, the T29. I'll be talking about its stats, playstyle, strengths and weaknesses, and rating it on a scale of 1 to 5. Toward the end of the video, I'll share with you my thoughts on whether this tank is worth your hard earned money. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and everything mentioned in this video will be linked in the description below. I now present you the T29. The T29 is my favorite tank in the entire game for farming Silver Lions. I'll throw its stat card up on the left hand corner of the screen right now. I'll talk about a few things in depth, but a brief overview shows us that it's got a wicked 105mm cannon, 203mm of frontal turret armor, 770 horsepower, and a crew of 6. Starting with its 105mm cannon, you'll be able to farm all the blueberries in this tank, but it's no thanks to the cannon. It actually has way more to do with the round that this premium behemoth uses, the T-13. The T-13 is an armor-penetrating cap ballistic-capped shell and is packed with 181 grams of explosive joy. It has 253 millimeters of penetration at 10 meters, and 9 times out of 10, it will one-shot anything and everything. It does have a longer reload, but it is still in the realm of competitive. My level 100 crew with expert qualifications gets a reload time down to about 13.2 seconds. I'm sure with ace qualifications and a level 150 crew, you could probably do it in a little less than 13 seconds. Now that you know how the gun works, let's take a minute to talk about the armor that's proudly made in the USA. Tier for tier, the turret on the T29 is borderline impenetrable. Even at an up tier, it's still relatively competitive, but in a full down tier, there's no chance. It's got 203 millimeters of frontal turret armor. The hull, on the other hand, is not so good. It's got almost 100 millimeters less armor than the turret. You can still bounce or block some shots, but don't rely on the hull armor to keep you alive. You need to play this tank hull down. If you're not familiar with the term hull down, it just means that you need to keep your hull down, below cover, behind a hill, behind a wall, anything. That's what that means. Now, because this tank does have so much armor and a massive turret, it makes it rather sluggish. However, it still has 770 horse ponies and a top speed of 35 kilometers an hour. And if you thought I was gonna say something about how despite being so big, it's actually kind of fast, well, you're wrong. It's just slow. It's better than a Sherman though. On paper, they are the same, but the T29 weighs 64 tons and the Sherman weighs 37. That's saying something. Lastly, I wanted to talk about how you can fit six dudes inside the uh, never mind. I might have to save that review for another website. Anyways, let's rate the T29 on a scale of one to five. Mobility, I score three out of five. This thing is slow. Don't get caught out in the open with it or you'll just get ass blasted. And don't play peekaboom with it because it just doesn't have the speed or agility to play well and win. Armor, I rate 4.5 out of five. Assuming you play it to your strengths, this tank is phenomenal at holding the high ground. Keep your hull hidden and use your thick turret armor to your advantage and you'll be able to carry your team to victory. The score that I give to survivability is also a 4.5 out of five. This tank is massive with lots of space for the crew. You can take two, three, sometimes even four shots before you get sent back to the garage. The rough part is, every time you lose a crew member, your reload gets slower and slower from the already slow 13 seconds. Speaking of reloading, what did I score firepower? Well, I'm sure you can guess, but I gave firepower a 5.5 out of five. The gun handling on this thing is not half bad, but the round the T29 gets is what carries this score. Being able to delete almost any vehicle with one shot really just seals the deal in this tank. Overall, I rate the T29 a 4.25 out of 5, which is an overall score of 85%. If you came here looking for an opinion on if you should buy the T29, my answer is, why haven't you already? Thanks for watching everybody, I hope you found value in this video, let me know what I should review next, and please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you all in the next video.